Hey, it's Nathan Williams with Crazy Marketing. In this video, we're gonna talk about connecting your Google Analytics account to your YouTube account. Now, there used to be this option inside of the YouTube Studio area where you could go ahead and plug in your Google Analytics property tracking ID. This option is now gone. So you can't do it this way anymore. It doesn't work like this. So there's there's basically your, your answer, but we'll I'll show you some other things that are available to you at this point in time. So this option is gone. So if you're looking for it, gone. All right, they say the reason they got rid of it is because they have enough analytics inside of the YouTube Creator Studio. So you could come in here and you could look at, you know, video analytics, channel analytics, and you know, you could stare at it all day if you want to. So there's more than enough information inside of the YouTube Studio. So if you want analytics, go there to see how your channel's doing, how your videos are doing, etc. Do all the analysis in there. Now, what that what also happens though is when you're running ads, the ads or YouTube ads that you might be running, that does come through to Google Analytics, assuming that you've connected everything together within your Google Ads platform. So your ads tracking still comes through to Google Analytics and you can go ahead and analyze how well your ads are performing within the Google Analytics platform. So ads still come through to Google Analytics, but your regular organic YouTube traffic does not completely come through to Google Analytics. Uh, I'll show you something in a second. It does kind of come through, but not in great detail. But anyway, inside of your Google Ads account, you do want to make sure that you connect it to your Google Analytics account and also your YouTube account. So your Google Ads account kind of acts as the hub where you connect Google Analytics and your YouTube channel and that kind of makes the connection for you and that's how you can track how well your ads are doing. So make sure you do that if you're running ads on YouTube. Now finally, for the last thing, inside of Google Analytics, it still does report your YouTube analytics to some extent. Like it shows you where traffic or where traffic is landing from YouTube. So if you come into your Google Analytics account and you go to acquisition and you come down to the social area, YouTube is considered social traffic. So that's where you'll find all your social stuff. You can click around in here and find out some information. So for example, you, you, we see right here, uh, I'm under social and overview. And if I go to YouTube here and I can see like what pages people are landing on. So these are the pages people are landing on, page views and everything else. And of course I could throw some other columns and everything in here like goals and all that other type of stuff. So you could go ahead and track, you know, how well your organic traffic is performing um, by coming in here and looking at the social acquisition. Now it won't tell you which video it necessarily is bringing in the traffic. You could set up UTM parameters and do some stuff with that, but that's a whole other topic. So anyway, I just want to address this real quick that you cannot connect your Google Analytics account to your YouTube account. So you don't, don't look for this option anymore. Hopefully this helps somebody out. Have a great rest of the day.